So um, we actually, I think the only reason we survived was early on Webflow was good enough for a very tiny percentage of customers. So we had that first early key 100 people who for them it was fundamentally empowering. Like they no longer had to hire a developer. They only had to build like very simple landing pages. It wasn't like a complicated marketing site. And they were willing to pay for that because, you know, they were paying us 20 bucks and they were getting $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 from a client. Before Webflow, they were giving $2,500 to a developer to translate their Photoshop mock to code or something like that. So I think it's absolutely critical for some sort of even tiny product market fit to create something profitable. Like people must want quilts for you to like create quilts and sell them. Like there has to be demand for what you're creating. There's really no way to jam product down somebody's. I wish there was a easier way to do that. <laughs> In our case, we were only able to do that at a specific time where we were making enough revenue. I don't think we would have been, been able to do it sooner because we just didn't have the product to be able to sell enough of it to, to pay for, for the people needed to even build the product to that to that place. So it's it's not always an option. But in our case it was, you know, like being really methodical about cutting expenses and and not hiring uh, new folks until we were able to see sort of that uh, inflection of like cash burning start to turn around into a uh, a pattern where it was starting to like go in the other direction. Yeah.